is Shopify the right commerce platform for your online business? Hi, my name is Maria Spragas and I help thousands of seven and eight figure merchants figure out everything from their checkout flow to payment processing for their online business. Today, I wanna to explore whether Shopify is the right solution for your online business. Now you may have recently heard Shopify just lost 13% of their valuation on results that were actually good. So essentially, Shopify showed that their income and their revenue and their growth actually increased, but on the stock market, their shares fell by 13%. So what's up with that? Now, obviously after the pandemic, there's just been a lot of corrections in a lot of tech companies and Shopify was a victim of that. So their valuation just you know, grew so much during the pandemic because everybody was buying things online. There was just a huge focus in online buying and so forth. And then obviously consumer behavior shifted after the pandemic, things are getting back to normal and people are just going back to other channels and so forth. So even though Shopify is doing better this quarter than it did last, their shares fell by 13%. Now, why is this relevant? It's because Shopify is known as the best and the biggest software for anybody who's running an online business. A lot of people are just told, you know, just go to Shopify and open your online store. So it's hard to sometimes judge whether this is the right move for your business or whether you should look for alternate solutions. Now, first of all, what can Shopify do? So some of the biggest features and some of the best things that Shopify offers is number one, it can create your website it could really just kind of create your whole store. Number two, it can manage your inventory. It can manage your shipping. It can really keep everything very organized for you in that respect. If you're selling physical products, another thing it does is that if you have an offline store, meaning a physical store, or you have, you know, say a mail telephone order store, um, and then you have an online store, it's an omni channel software. So that means you can manage different types of locations, just all in one software. And last but not least, it also helps you manage your payments. So you can plug in payment processing right away without complicated applications or much of an integration process. It's already in there. So obviously this is a very quick and convenient solution for, for your online business. So you're probably asking, well, Maria, this sounds awesome. Why wouldn't I use Shopify? So let me tell you a few of the drawbacks of Shopify. <music> So now Shopify really sounds awesome. How do you determine whether this is the right choice for your business? Now, you know, it does have a lot of features and it is very quick and easy to plug in. So it probably sounds like it's right for everybody, but it's actually not. And a couple of things you need to consider when you're determining whether, you know, you should use Shopify or another software or another solution is the following. First of all, are you a startup? Have you just started your business? You've never really tested it. You don't know if it's gonna work or not. If the answer is yes, then Shopify is likely a good solution for you. The reasons are the ones that I mentioned earlier. So it's fast and easy to set up. It's low cost when you start, especially if your store is small. And you, know, you don't have to worry about anything too technical. So if you're a startup, Shopify is probably a very good place for you to start. So you can test your business model, see if there's, you know, consumer demand, test your ads, test your product, get some customer feedback. You don't want to get bogged down by making a lot of tech decisions and figuring out, um, you know, integrations to things and so forth. So if you're a startup, you want to go with Shopify because that's going to be the easiest way for you to get to market as quickly as possible. Now, kind of feeding off on that, are you a technical person? So the less technical you are, the more likely it is better to go with a software like Shopify, because, you know, if you have to do some technical integrations or you have to ask some questions to some tech people in order to see if something's going to work, it's probably not the best route for you right now, especially if you're getting your business started. So if you have no technical resources, or if you're not a little bit technical yourself, then Shopify is probably also uh, a right place for you to start your business or to maintain your business on. If you're not technical, but say, for example, you have a very large network of people in your industry, a lot of people you can lean on and ask questions from and get best practices for. If you're in that situation that you're just starting in your industry, you don't really know anybody. Again, Shopify is a great place for you to start. If on the other hand, you have just a wealth of resources around you, 
I would suggest, depending on your industry, and you go ahead and you ask people in your industry, you know, what softwares are they using? What helps them manage their business best? You don't want to just choose one that's fast and easy. Sometimes it's just easier to work off of something that's tried, tested, and true. And if you have contacts in your industry that can vouch for certain types of software, then maybe that's your best place to start. So last but not least, what is your sales forecast? If you're predicting you're going to be making 10, 15, maybe $20,000 a month, you know, that gives you very limited amount of money to be able to hire staff and maintenance and so forth. So that, that probably puts you in the bucket of, you know, kind of a smaller enterprise. And at that point you will have limited resources to spend on, you know, software integrations or, uh, figuring out, uh, how to plug softwares together and so forth. So again, you want to start with a very kind of out of the box solution like Shopify and probably stick to it. If you don't have any aspirations to grow your business beyond that. Now, you know, no shade. Some people just want to have a small business to kind of, you know, live their life and, and be solo and just run kind of a one or two product business. And Shopify is great for that. So, you know, it's plug and play, it's fast, it's easy and so forth. Now you may turn around and tell me, Hey Maria, but you know, we see all these very large companies that are using Shopify in their back end and so forth. So yes, it is true. There are some very large companies that are using Shopify successfully. A lot of them also have kind of two solutions. So they are using Shopify and they have their own platform or they're using Shopify, but they have a huge tech team that allows them to kind of dig into very specific features of Shopify or get special integrations or get special features and so forth that are not available, for example, to you, or they have, you know, staff that's studying the technical documents of Shopify and what it can do. And it's really maximizing the use. Now, you know, let's kind of discuss, you know, you, your everyday man's kind of business where, you know, you don't have access to these types of resources. Shopify is not going to call you and walk you through how to use things and so forth. There are a ton of features in Shopify. Like, I mean, thousands, if not, you know, hundreds of thousands of features. And sometimes when a software has too many things, too many plugs, too many options, it actually can get more confusing. And it could also make you not use a lot of them that would benefit your business because you don't know how they work. Shopify recently released a catalog of all these upgrades that they've made. I mean, I'm quite technical and I've been working in this industry for a very long time. And, you know, I was like, you know, this is, this is great, but unfortunately most people will not use most of these features because they won't know they exist. First of all, second, secondly, it'll just be too difficult for them to kind of go through this and activate them and test them and so forth. So keep in mind that sometimes it's just better to find one software that does one specific thing for your business and that works well. And that's easy to understand. So I'll give you a kind of everyday example. A couple of weeks ago, I was looking for a sandwich press. I mean, that's, you're probably wondering what does a sandwich press have to do with Shopify? Well, I'll tell you. So a sandwich press is basically something that you just put a sandwich, press it down, it heats up your sandwich. It's good to go. While I was looking for that sandwich press, I went through the aisle and I saw a whole bunch of different sandwich presses and with bells and whistles and so forth. I ended up buying one that was, you know, about 150 bucks. It was a sandwich press, a panini press. It also made waffles. Um, you can put like hot plates to make pancakes and so forth. I brought it home, wanted to make a sandwich, realized that, yeah, it, it did press my sandwich, but not as good as the old one that I had that broke down that just pressed sandwiches. So what my case in point here is, is sometimes getting one software or one, you know, tool that does just one thing really well may work better than finding you know, like my sandwich press or that other contraption that I got that does 20 things, but it just kind of half ass does all of them. It doesn't really focus on one specific area. And this is why I was saying earlier, Shopify is good for people who are starting out. It's good for people who kind of don't have tech and don't have many resources and so forth because it's fast, it's quick and easy. And it does, you know, kind of everything pretty well. Now, if you really want to get to the next level or you're building your business to get to the 50, a hundred, 200,000 and beyond point per month, then you want to focus on softwares that are going to really be specific to, to different operations in your business. And then a lot of these softwares have, you know, tons of integrations that are super easy to plug in together. So now if you're a tenured business owner, you've been using Shopify and so forth, a lot of merchants and a lot of online businesses just kind of start another 
website and another store off Shopify and kind of transition it slowly. Some, you know, decide to kind of have both in parallel to test them out, to see which one works better. But ultimately, you know, you're not stuck with Shopify if you start with them. So if you are a startup and you, you have no technical resources, you could start with Shopify and move forward. If you are a more tenured merchant and you're kind of looking for a new solution and you've been dazzled by all the um, features and so forth of Shopify, I would caution you to kind of start looking deeper into what you're looking to do for your business because number one you know Shopify can get expensive if you start using a lot of the features and you have high volume and you may not need all of them and you may get lost um, in the wave of features that you won't be using now one thing I just kind of want to get back to Shopify does charge a lot of money for all the different features and things that you do, especially when you're starting to scale above $25,000, $50,000 a month, things can get quite expensive. But the way that Shopify makes most of their revenue is through Shopify payments, which is their payment platform that is integrated into their software, which allows you to accept credit card payments on your website. So their biggest interest is to ensure that you are using Shopify payments because that's that's where they make the most money. They make their money off payments. So once you set up your shop and you kind of plug everything in, your last step really is to integrate payments and they really kind of pigeonhole you into the Shopify payments. Now, if you've watched many of my videos, you understand that Shopify payments is just a white label of Stripe and Stripe, Shopify payments, PayPal, uh, these kind of third party large um, aggregator processors. What they do is they allow you to sign up very quickly. They don't look at your shop. They don't look at what you're selling. They don't kind of analyze anything about your business and they just let you get started. The problem with that is as you start scaling, if you get a couple of disputes or chargebacks, or, you know, if they don't really support your business type and you scale past 50 or a hundred thousand dollars per month, and they start looking more into your business, they might suspend you. They might shut you down. They might start holding large reserves. I see this every single day. Merchants and online businesses come to me and say, Hey, you know, I was using Shopify payments. Everything was going well. And all of a sudden, bam, I get a notice that they're holding 30% of my money because they don't agree with my business practices. They don't like what I'm selling. I'm deemed high risk and so on and so forth. So, you know, it's, it's something to consider that you have backup systems in a lot of areas of your business, you know, whether it's servers, whether it's employees, whether it's warehouses, fulfillment centers, and so forth, you may want to have a backup for your payment processing. Now Shopify does integrate into other payment processors, but I do have to tell you that they'll charge you an extra half a percent, sometimes 1% or above if you don't use Shopify payments. So it can get really, really expensive only to have a backup to another payment processor. So to me, it feels a little bit like highway robbery and it's a, a little bit of a pigeonholing you into one specific solution that may not work for your business. Now, like I said, if you're a startup, you know, and, and you're working through various operations in your business might be a good idea, but if you're tenured or if you're, you have big plans for your business and you know that you're going to scale considerably Shopify payments and Shopify as a software may not be the right option for you for all the reasons I listed above. If if you need any help or if you need any advice on how to choose the right software for you, feel free to contact me, maria at directpayedit.com. Myself or a member of my team would be happy to walk you through and keep in mind as you're scaling, don't forget to have your backups in place because I will link down an episode of some horror stories that happen with Stripe and Shopify payments and you don't want your business to be held ransom while they make decisions for you. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Feel free to like and comment and please send me any of your questions. I'd love to hear from you. Have yourself a great day.